Okay, fiber optics. You have a bunch of clear plastic wires. A few examples here. Brush over the fiber optics over an object. Each individual fiber optic light is kind of going over the object. No, no one's really going to know what the heck it is. Here's an example of an Apple picture of his um, multi-color changing. So you can get different colors out of it. I had a crystal ball on top of a light stand. I was just waving the fiber optic toy behind the object. Uh, you can get some pretty cool crazy lines everywhere. It kind of looks like sparks going everywhere, but you can change the color and the direction. Another thing you can do is just defocus it. Abstract, blurred out background. These are in the rotated in a different orientation, by the way. This is just where I was moving the fiber optic uh, toy around in the frame. Uh, that's probably my favorite one right there. Just kind of swish it in that that curved pattern. And here's one where I just kind of defocused it completely to get those little bokeh dots. And there's another one, just scribbling it around, messing around in front of the camera like three different times. There it is again, scribbled all out. I would use a low ISO, like ISO 200. Adjust the shutter speed to how long necessary you need to take the photo. So F11, like a higher F number, will give you a darker picture. And a lower F number will give you a brighter picture. And there's another one, it's pretty crazy. Multi-different colors. That's it for fiber optics. It's a pretty interesting toy. It's kind of a specialty use, but it is still pretty interesting.